The East Slavic languages constitute one of the three regional subgroups of Slavic languages. These languages are currently spoken natively throughout Eastern Europe and extend eastwards to Siberia and the Russian Far East, while being also spoken as a lingua franca in many regions of Caucasus and Central Asia. Speakers of East Slavic languages far outnumber the West Slavic and South Slavic language families. The existing East Slavic languages are Belarusian, Russian and Ukrainian. Rusin is considered to be either a separate language or a dialect of Ukrainian. The East Slavic languages descend from a common predecessor, Old East Slavic, the language of the medieval Kievan Rus. All these languages use the Cyrillic script, but with particular modifications. Belarusian and Ukrainian used to have Latin alphabets, and now Rusin uses Latin in some regions. The East Slavic territory exhibits a linguistic continuum with many transitional dialects. Between Belarusian and Ukrainian there is the Polesian dialect, which shares features from both languages. East Polesian is a transitional variety between Belarusian and Ukrainian on one hand, and between South Russian and Ukrainian on the other hand. At the same time, Belarusian and Southern Russian form a continuous area, making it virtually impossible to draw a line between the two languages. Central or Middle Russian, the transitional step between the North and the South, became a base for the Russian literary standard. Northern Russian with its predecessor, the Old Novgorod dialect, has many original and archaic features. Due to the influence of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth over many centuries, Belarusian and Ukrainian have been influenced in several respects by Polish, a West Slavic language Lechitic. Ruthenian, the mixed Belarusian-Ukrainian literary language with a Church Slavonic substratum and Polish adstratum, was, together with Middle Polish, an official language in Belarus and Ukraine until the end of the 18th century. When the common Old East Slavic language became separated from the ancient Slavic tongue common to all Slavs is difficult to ascertain, though in the 12th century the common language of Rus is still referred to in contemporary writing as Slavic. Therefore, a crucial differentiation has to be made between the history of the East Slavic dialects and that of the literary languages employed by the Eastern Slavs. Although most ancient texts betray the dialect their author or scribe spoke, it is also clearly visible that they tried to write in a language different from their dialects and to avoid those mistakes that enable us nowadays to locate them. In both cases one has to keep in mind that the history of the East Slavic languages is of course a history of written texts. We do not know how the writers of the preserved texts would have spoken in everyday life. After the conversion of the East Slavic region to Christianity the people used service books borrowed from Bulgaria, which were written in Old Church Slavonic. The Church Slavonic language was strictly used only in text, while the colloquial language of the Bulgarians was communicated in its spoken form. Throughout the Middle Ages there existed a duality between the Church Slavonic language used as some kind of higher register in religious text and the popular tongue used as a lower register for secular texts. It has been suggested to describe this situation as diglossa, although there do exist mixed texts where it is sometimes very hard to determine why a given author used a popular or a Church Slavonic form in a given context. Church Slavonic was a major factor in the evolution of modern Russian, where there still exists a high stratum of words that were imported from this language. All of these languages are today separate in their own right. In the Russian Empire the official view was that the Belarusian, Ukrainian, and Russian languages were dialects of one common Russian language. Over the course of the 20th century, Great Russian came to be known as Russian proper, Little Russian as Ukrainian and White Russian as Belarusian. Thanks for watching.